Hey, I'm excited to share my favorite online dance and movement resources. Stay tuned. First up is Broadway Dance Center, a well-known dance studio in New York City. They started offering live stream classes during COVID um, and they continue to offer live stream classes even though in-studio classes have now resumed at very limited capacities as of April 5th. They offer a variety of styles and have a great variety of teachers as well. You can check out their website for more information. And next up is Steps on Broadway, another very well-known studio in New York City. They are also offering in-studio classes at two classes per day, Monday through Saturday, and they will continue to have their full digital schedule as well. CLI Studios continues to offer their incredible online dance education, and they are a subscription-based setup, offering a variety of classes with a variety of the industry's best teachers and dancers. Next up is DZ Studio. You can try this free for seven days, and they're just like CLI where you have an online-based um, situation. They have an app, and you do a subscription process. They offer, again, an, a variety of styles, ballet, contemporary jazz, hip hop. So it's another awesome thing to check out. The next subscription-based service is The Space TV, and it's brought to you by Krista Miller of The Space that's located in California. Next up, we'll venture into the world of Instagram, where classes and spaces like Eco Grooves makes everything better. They are virtual donation-based fitness classes, and 15% of the proceeds um, go to helping various environmental organizations. They have everything from jazz and ballet to yoga and hit classes. It's a great, great space. Next up is Live Dance NYC and I stumbled upon this page and was in awe. It gives you so many different resources for teachers who are hosting Zoom classes, classes on their own Instagram pages, and other various platforms. Dance Labs is another awesome resource and if you just look at their page alone, you will get so much information on tips and different tricks and techniques. They are an official account that does dance techniques, skills, and online courses. And if you go to the link in their bio, you will see all the information you need. Free dance training is exactly what it says it is. This page really, really helped during the beginning of the quarantine by offering a variety of dance classes and teachers um, through IG and their other platforms. You can still go around through the page and look at all these different teachers and find them um, by researching. Debbie Allen Dance Academy has been offering a ton of free dance classes via the live feature on their Instagram page. They save so many of them as IGTV, so there's something that you can go back and look back to and take those classes, as well as look forward to what they have to come by following their page. Tyler Peck is a principal dancer with New York City Ballet, and she has been offering IG Live classes on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and she's continued to do that even since things have started to open up. Next up is Momin, and it's one of my favorite spaces on Instagram. Every Monday, 10 a.m., there is a dance warm-up, and I appreciate that this space focuses on what Al Blackstone says he wants to create as far as dance education, community, and growth. So check them out. Carla Garcia is a choreographer and performer based in NYC. She began offering classes for a cause um, at the beginning of quarantine, and she kept all of those on her IGTV, and they are very excellent resources to use for some free class offerings, and I promise you, it is a good time, and it will challenge you as well. Next up is James Jen, and he is an amazing photographer currently located in New York City. He helps dancers to own their vulnerability through his creative process. The process is a photo shoot based situation and he breaks down all of the details on his website. And the practice is something that he started where you're able to hop on a Zoom every Thursday and kind of explore some of those same things in your artistry. Check out his site for more details. 
Dance with Miss Audie is another great resource and a good supplement for dance teachers as well as dancers. She has lots of good information located directly on her IG page, but she also has an incredible YouTube channel that you can subscribe to and get a plethora of free training. Next up is a friend of mine, David Kidder. He's an awesome performer and does free IG Live jazz classes every Wednesday and saves them on his IGTV as well. I'm sticking with my friends and next up I have Iman Ayana. She is like a sister to me. She's a dancer, fitness trainer, and model and she does incredible classes um, that help you just stay on top of your fitness and overall health and she has an awesome YouTube channel that you should definitely subscribe to. Iman is one third of the Fit Trifecta along with Wit You Need and Full Out Flows. She does yoga weekly. She gives you fun inspiration and tips along her page. She makes it as accessible for everyone and it's definitely worth your time to wake up and move your body. Check her out as well as Iman and what you need and make sure that you look at the links in their bio to learn more about the Fit Trifecta. Next up is actually my Pilates mentor, Lincola Green. Her page is California Pilates. And as you can see, she offers a wide variety of tips and tricks and resources to help you in your Pilates journey. Definitely worth checking her out and following along so that you know what classes she's offering. Staying on the mobility train, we have my friend Nicole Rorick. She is yoga, Pilates, dance, and mobility based. She has her own setup with Evolve by Nicole. You can check her out for her class packages and a variety of resources. She also does in-person classes in San Diego, California. Again, be sure to check out her site. Next up is Ballet Body and it was created by Hannah Elizabeth and it's an incredible dance cross training outlet. She does awesome work and it's definitely worth checking out her page here, signing up for the resources that she offers, as well as her personal page. If you're looking for some full body strengthening, flexibility, stretching, and toning, this is your girl. Dance on and off stage, in the studio and at home are all important. I love Pivot for Dancers because it helps dancers find work outside of stage. It supports very meaningful work and changes the conversation around career transitions to help dancers via resources, inspiration, and community be sure to check their page out on Instagram as well. The Dance Edit is a petite daily newsletter and weekly podcast brought to you by Dance Media that keep you up to date on all the things new and moving in the dance world. Their page offers a great look into the eyes of dancers, choreographers, performers, and the like. So make sure you check them out. Dance Ed Tips is next and it's incredible. I honestly cannot believe it's free. It's educational resources made for dance teachers by dance teachers. You can have digital downloads, teaching materials, and ongoing education. They offer so many great things. Dancers, if you're not a teacher, you can benefit too. Let's venture directly into Doctors for Dancers. If you're injured, they have a number that you can text to find dance specialists in your area. They understand dancers and they give you tons of helpful information on how to approach injuries, how to address injuries, and what you really need to do to just stay on top of your body as a dancer, performer, athlete. Dance history is also a must and black dance history is definitely where it's at. It gives you everything from the past to the present and to how we're going to navigate the future. It's a fun page, it's an informative page, and it's a celebratory page follow. Let's segue right out of that into Black Dance Stories. It's a community working together to support, uphold, highlight, and celebrate Black creatives. I think it is necessary and it is beautiful. Next is Dance Plug Canada and it's a community organization that spreads knowledge about dance, community support and resources, as well as facilitating conversations and advocacy. If you scroll through their page, I'm sure that you will find answers to questions you may have, support, um, as well as new things to dive into as far as dance research is concerned. Dance On is a page that features dance and music and it is just a welcomed source of joy if you want dance from writing down your timeline. Booked and Blessed is for the funny dance fun you never knew you needed but is sure to make you laugh. And lastly, hashtag booked is a definite must follow. It'll make you laugh, it'll make you think, 
It will give you things you did not know you needed. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope that you got something special out of this video. Take care. Until next time.